it's always difficult to, to predict, to forecast the future. And there are clearly trends in demographics, climate change, <clears throat> technological change that, that are going to shape, they're, actually they're already shaping uh, our world and the way they interact uh, will have an impact. But I just wanted to concentrate on political trends, which is unusual for a central banker. Um, because on the other trends, on climate change, demography, uh, te technology, I know which direction the trend is going. Mm -hmm. I don't know how it will impact on the macroeconomy. I don't know whether will be, uh, uh, longer lifespans uh, will be accompanied by longer working lives or just more illness at the end. But at least I know where the trend is going. The politics and the political composition in advanced and emerging countries has changed very fast in the last five years. Europe, I think, depending how you define it, 25% um, of voters voted for populist parties uh, in previous elections, up from 7 or 8% uh, 9 or 10 years ago. And the, the thing about that trend is one doesn't know, have we plateaued? Will it continue? Will it accelerate? Or are we at an inflection point, uh, or at the point at which it reverses? And of course, these uh, new parties have brought new perspectives, new policies, new ways of looking at the world. And it's already started to have an economic impact. So for five or six years after the crisis, economics drove the politics. Now politics is driving the economics. You can see it in trade. You can see it in the prospects of fragmentation of the world economy and around the architecture that we have for the governance of the world economy. And I think the great uncertainty is, as I say, uh, will that continue? The, the reason seems to be clear that a large section of the electorate is alienated from the political, feels alienated from the political and economic system. But the question is, will that grow? Uh, will it reverse? Are we on the point of finding the answers to bring the system to the people and the people back to the system? Or have we reached some new sour and divisive normal mm -hmm. that's going to continue? And that, for me, is the biggest question in the, uh, overhanging the world economy at the moment.